Houstonians certainly have their eye on energy, especially when it comes to oil prices. They're now nearing a four-year high. For most of the country, that's not usually considered a good thing because of rising gas prices. But as Ryan Korsgaard reports, the impact on Houston and Houston families is positive. You know, several years ago, we were talking about layoffs and then a rebound. And now we're told we are approaching uncharted territory. As Sophie plays in the fountains at Discovery Green, her mom is at work in the energy industry. As long as she has a job, I'm happy. <laughs> Sophie spent this day with her nana, Nancy McMillan. She says she's willing to pay more at the pump in order to keep our economy moving. If it means people have jobs, you know, that's what it's all about. When a barrel of oil stabilized at $50, economists said that companies would find the confidence to again hire. Now we enter a new territory. Today, 75 is not the same 75 as it was uh, five years ago because the industry is totally different. University of Houston finance professor Dr. Greg Perong says it's different now because the break-even point is way below $75. You know, we've gone through the roller coaster before, uh, 2014, 2015. Uh, uh, that was uh, difficult, although Houston made it through pretty well, but this is overall a positive. AAA Texas says the political realities play into not only what you pay for a gallon of fuel, but what a barrel of oil costs. Iranian sanctions are going to be taking place coming up in November, specifically focusing on the uh, energy sector. So that could impact crude oil prices. Plus, Venezuela's economy is collapsing, and that could impact their ability to produce crude oil. The big question now, analysts say, is what's going to happen in the next month? The president has instructed all U.S. companies to stop buying Iranian oil by early November. In Montrose, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.